mechanical thresher is a device that will separate the grain from the rest of the plant material. So basically what you can do is you can harvest the plants, put it through this machine, and it's going to allow you to collect the grain and basically um, um, take the rest of the material and separate it from that grain. Um, mechanical threshers have been around since the late 1700s um, and they've been a huge labor-saving uh, device for, for farmers because it really speeds up the whole harvest process. So in countries we're working in Africa and other developing countries, uh, the Growers, as well as researchers, don't have mechanical threshers readily available. So what they'll do is they'll harvest their plants, uh, put them on a tarp or some hard surface, and beat those plants with a stick. Uh, and that's going to allow the pods to open up and to release the seed. And then what you'd need to do is take the, the plant material that you, that's on the surface, throw it into the air, and basically separate the seeds from that other material by using the wind. And hopefully the wind will blow the other plant material and, and, and allow you to recover the seed. Clearly that's a very long process and is, is difficult. Um, and something that, if possible, we'd like our, our collaborating researchers not to have to go through. It's important for our collaborators to have mechanical threshers because plant breeding is really a numbers game. What happens is that plant breeders need to develop many experimental lines that are potential varieties and test them um, in as many locations as possible to identify those potential varieties that have the best agronomic potential. A huge bottleneck that these breeders have currently is not being able to thresh these plots. And uh, it, it takes a long time to do it, it's very expensive, and it makes it so that the breeders cannot test as many potential varieties as they need to, as well as not to be able to test them in as many locations as they need to. So by having that thresher, they should be able to increase their throughput and therefore hopefully identify better experimental lines that will be varieties that will become more profitable varieties for soybean farmers in Africa.